everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have an unboxing for you from Diamond Art Club. Now this is not sponsored. This is not a sneak peek. This is just a straight up unboxing. I have wanted this painting since it came out and I have been waiting, I don't know how many restocks I've seen. And you know, sometimes Diamond Art Club will stock paintings and then they will be discontinued. And I really wanted to make sure that I snagged this before it became discontinued. So let's get into this box. I love this box. This is like the coolest little box. You like my scissors? <laughs> All right, and it is, da 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 sweet purple. This is a Chibi Mika art and I really like it. I like it because it's purple. Uh, I like it because she's got graffiti behind her. Um, her shirt is really pretty. I love her hair and I was hoping that her hair will be super purple on this one. This is a small painting. This is 42 by 49 centimeters. So this is pretty close to what my original like sweet spot was. I really liked 40 by 50 size paintings and I've heard a lot of people say that they're looking for paintings that are smaller, that aren't like gigantic. <laughs> and this one is much more manageable than some of the others. But we're going to have a look. I have not, I don't remember seeing an unboxing for this and I don't know if it was just because I didn't want to ruin the surprise for myself or what, but we're going to get into this if I can. Usually I take that off first, but I did not do that. All right. So let's look in here. It's such a small and tidy box. I'm going to show you what I do when I get it. So if you're new to Diamond Art Club, this is the back and it shows you what's in the box and how to diamond paint. This little, this little thing here indicates what shape the diamonds are. So these are rounds, which means in my experience that this will actually work up much faster than a square. So if you're looking for a fast project, this could be it. Inside we have the usual, we have oh, a very big truck going by. We have the inventory sticker or the uh, logbook sticker, which I take the box, whoops, and you see where the QR sticker is. I like to put the sticker over the QR code, just like that. And that way I can find it on my shelf. You'd also put it on this end too. So that's what I do with the box. And then this is our inventory sheet. It has 37 colors, shows you the symbols and everything. And it's got a bigger version of that picture, the original artist's work. Um, this is great to put on your, uh, your diamond storage, or you could put it like, well, I wouldn't put it on your wall or anything, but you know, if you have it somewhere where you'd like to, to show off artwork, you could do that too. This is the toolkit. It comes with everything that you need to start diamond painting. So for Diamond Art Club, that is a bunch of baggies, two plates of heart-shaped wax, We've got a four placer, a multi placer, and this goes in the end of the pen they provide. That and single tip and the multi placer tip. They also give you a squishy, and this helps your hand from not hurting. Now, I don't personally use these pens anymore because um, my fingers hurt a lot if I if I diamond paint like this. Um, I use thicker pens, like acrylic pens, which you could see in my diamond painting accessories playlist, but it is good for when you're starting out. So you get those two plates of heart-shaped wax, which if it's your first time diamond painting, you need to peel back the plastic on top to start diamond painting. So you peel this back and then you dip your pen into that pink goo. Then this is the drill tray. 
it's nice and clear and you can pop your drills not too many diamonds at a, at a time but you just pop them in there and shake if you need more help if this is your first time diamond painting please check out my how to diamond paint playlist where it shows you in depth how to diamond paint but that's the basics and that's really good uh, if you're new to diamond painting or you're giving it to someone who's never diamond painted before make sure you tell them <laughs> I remember uh, having friends be very confused. Like, how do I do this thing? All right, in the dust bag, we have the diamond painting. It's nice and soft on the outside. And there's your drills. We've got lots of beautiful pinks, purples, and blues in there. And I can see an AB. I hope there's more than one, we'll see. And I'm gonna roll this backwards. And at the same time, I'm actually going to just pull you back so you can see my socks. Here we go. So inside here, we have an instruction booklet. So this will help a new person to diamond paint if they need it. But here's our diamond painting. Oh, wow. Now her face looks very red here, but I don't think it's going to be that red when she's actually diamond painted. But look, she's not very big at all. So there's the details that I liked, her stripy shirt, her lovely purple hair, she's got gorgeous eyes. And something to note is that when you get a round drill diamond painting, it's kind of going to look a little strange on the canvas with just the symbols. You might think, oh, that doesn't look right or something like that. But really, what's happening is this is gridded into sections. Okay, hang on with me. Um, it's gridded up so that the colors are, the background color of the drill is square, but each individual spot where you place the diamond is circle. I'll show you here with her shirt. See how there's like a slight circle around the number two? But if you come over here and you look at Y, can you see how there's kind of a square of purple and then a circle with a white and then the Y? Don't get confused. This is still a round drill painting, but because there's spaces between the circle diamonds, that space needs to be filled by color and the color is close to the drill color. And that way you don't lose definition. So what happens is you kind of, it looks a little strange without the diamonds on, but I guarantee you that if you see it finished, it'll look totally different. It'll look so beautiful. And I'm really looking forward to getting this done and hanging this in my craft room because it is pretty and it's something I've really wanted to do for a long time. Her artwork is fantastic. Please check her out on Instagram. I'm going to link her down below too. So we've got, I said, 37 colors and you saw the drill field, right? Very clear. You can see there's a lot of, well, there are training wheels, if you want to call them that. We call them guide circles, training wheels. Um, these will help you to line up the diamond so you don't get off center. But they're not dark enough to show up underneath the drill. So it won't be obvious. And then it says that there are two of the accent drills or the Aurora Borealis AB diamonds and they're here there's numbers one and two on this painting we're gonna look through the diamonds and find them and find where they belong um, if you don't like to look at the drills I'll put a timestamp here so that you can just see where they go and skip ahead to the end if you like so we've got lots of pretty purples. Let me bring it in again. There we go. So we've got 208 and 3837. 605, pretty light pink. 3608, 209, 3609, gorgeous. 797, 823. 
333. 141. This is our first Aurora Borealis diamond, so I hope you can see it. This one, it has like this iridescent coating on top. I call it unicorn skin. It's It looks like a rainbow, pretty pastel rainbow on top of that white diamond, and it just makes it sparkle a little brighter than all the rest of them, because you can see this one doesn't have that coating and it's just pure color. This one has white and it has that translucence on top. So this is 3607, 3733, 917, which is one of my favorite colors and it does not come up very well. It's much more vibrant pink in person. 550, my favorite. 820, 210, and 211. And there's just one more strand of diamonds here. So, these 37, 46, 718, 961, 915, 796, 37, 31, 33, 26, 155, 154, 340, 327, 602, it is much brighter in person, sorry it's very gloomy today, 993, 992, 939, 601, 954, 600, 127, here's the other Aurora Borealis AB drill. This one has the same color translucence, translucence on top as the white one, but you can see that you, you'll be able to see that pink color underneath a little stronger, right? And then 603 as well. All right, let's see where these ABs go. So number one is the pink color. And I can see it here in her hair. It's kind of highlighting uh, little pieces of her hair here. Is there any one down here? And that, that's it for number one. That's all for the pink. For two, it's also in some parts of her hair here. Um, but then it's in the collar and in her shirt. So all down here where the white parts of her shirt are. So there is a lot of number one in her shirt. And then as for the rest of it, I think that you can clearly see uh, the, there's, sorry, I'll pull you back again so you can see it. There are words behind her in graffiti that say sweet purple. Um, and once it's finished, you'll definitely be able to see that. So what do you think? Do you like her? Do you like this artist? I would hope that you would go and check her out uh, online and see if you like her other art, and hopefully there'll be more at Diamond Art Club soon. I certainly hope so. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, uh, or if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And uh, if you are interested in purchasing this purchasing this painting. I do have a link down below. Uh, just full disclosure, I'm an affiliate with Diamond Art Club, so if you're new and you have not purchased from DAC and you click my link, I will get a small commission if you do decide to purchase, but you are not having to pay that commission. Diamond Art Club just sends it to me, so I do appreciate it if you do consider doing that, but if you don't, it's okay. Don't worry. Um, with that being said, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video, and I will see you all really soon in my next one. Take care, everyone. Bye!